on the Somme uh, Water Avenue is one of the finest surviving examples of the 19th century riverfront streets in South, located here on the structure which is reflect the architectural trends in the commercial buildings from 1830 to 1900. This was the main business artery for one of the central Alabama's major commercial centers during the war between the states of Salma and the Confederacy. Most important military depot in the lower south, the Arsenal Naval Foundry, was located here at St. James's Hotel, provided housing for the officers and the personnel that when federal forces occupied Salma in 1865, all of the war supporting industries, as much as the city was burnt following the war. The cotton spe speculation created a boom in 1870 to 1890, and a new building replaced the burned ones, hence St. George or Georgia. If you go down south to, to Savannah, you will see the cotton industry that actually sprouted out of absolutely nothing. There we go. The history has been set here. One of the main stretches that run here inside. Side South. porch, side porch, and pub sandwich. There you go. Here we are on the Water Avenue. Uh, as uh, still working and still practicing restaurants here in Selma. And it's old town. Marvelous. Would you like to eat I'm just in transient at the minute. Okay. I'm heading towards Jackson. Okay. I've started my journey in uh, Jackson, Mississippi? Yes. State capital before it starts closing down. But I wish I had the time to try and have some food here. But on another time. Oh. Thank you. Peace in the back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here we are. There's more of the eateries and there's more of the history here. Isn't it history yeah, in our that hands? Was, that was just in the 70s. That's just in the 70s. But this is the main structure. Uh -huh. Well, wonderful. It's, wow. It's, yeah. It's like built the buildings with these uh, Incredible. thick walls. And these thick walls yeah. from the old British times. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. And the old British pub that exist here to try and serve the community <laughs> of their own needs. Yes. Is that right? And it's still been preserved here in Selma, the city that has preserved so much history along the crossroads between the south and going up north to its east, where the British, um, starting from Savannah in Georgia, managed to come through from the ocean inland through these rivers that uh, one of them is just behind the, the building here that's uh, called the Alabama River if I'm, um, if I'm not wrong yes wow it is it is always here we are this is the original bridge that was built back in 1884 the swing bridge that allowed the steam um, boats to come all the way from Mobile Alabama in the south coast all the way upstream and they brought material food and supplies up through its upstream and slides and oh wow really goodness it's all cotton. the history cotton yes in fact the cotton industry was booming out here hence how the the main water avenue was one of those um, centers prominent of centers of commerce yes same as savannah which mm -hmm. is cotton industry that boomed and turned the industry and the life and all the folks start coming down there to work and so on. Fabulous. What a history. What a history. And here, if you're ever here in Selma, folk, if you're on the route between Montgomery on the 80 West going uh, to Jackson, never forget to stop by here at the Water Avenue. What's your place? Side porch sandwiches Side and pork and her. Side porch. Porched. Porched. Oh. Porch, like a front oh, porch. As a porch, okay. Sandwiches and pub. Sandwiches and pub. That's the place where you need to stop by and, and just get your uh, bearings from here on uh, if you're in the southern states. And particularly if you like to have a bite to eat, fabulous place to actually stop by. The staff is excellent and incredible hospitality, I should say. 
And um, yes, uh, words can't describe the history here. You have to come and smell it, touch it, feel it, and be part of to know what was history here. And um, I take you back with you that those moments of transient memories of your of yourself, and to learn it from the people of the land here in Alabama that exist on that very swing bridge right from the start and I can see some of these um, iron these were used in the cattle ranches I presume and the horses for branding cows and horses for branding so you knew your part of your cattle or your horses and they never got exchanged by the other ranchers or they didn't have any arguments about it and there we go, the metal branding tools. Oh. Let me get those racks. Oh. <laughs> this is a landlady. Look at this lovely lady who's been so courteous towards me and been so generous and showing me you can have your cool pub <laughs> in a tub. <laughs> Your drinks are cooled in a tub, in this pub, and a proper way of doing it. And you could not ask for more, to be more realistic, more realistic with your drinks and your selection of drinks that have been cooled down with a beautiful number of, there we have it, that's where it goes, a frozen tub for your frozen beautiful cool beer here at this pub in Selma you will not forget it right next to a historical building and I'm in a historical building itself Bolin Alley Lane whoa is this is this one of those uh, ships that brought in these uh, original pub counters mm -mm. this is a bowling alley lane is we it recycled it and you... we cut it for the bar <laughs> bowling alley one of the lanes the wood flows is that like the wood structure they put it on right on the floor oh yeah the bowling. on the bowling <laughs> like a parquet flooring section of the bowling alley yes and there's a whole section has been cut out and brought in here to try and preserve that history and not to have anything more more superficially artificial and plastic that we find it elsewhere around the world than get a, a solid plank of wood that comes straight off a bowling alley <laughs> <laughs> and no way no other way to say it than how I had to say it um, I must say uh, the pub landlady and the other um, lovely staff here are so generous and so kind and welcoming and I'm and I only wish I had extra time to stop by here for more and longer and uh, absorb the feeling of uh, history and uh, but I'm sure I'll be able to make this journey on another time but for never forget to come stop by and have your cool beer and a bite to eat they will take care of you for sure guaranteed and here on the water avenue it's one of those old traditional houses or traditional buildings that exist on this stretch of the uh, uh, stretch of the street um, water avenue and you will not miss it it's one of the popular restaurants right next to the st james's hotel i'm heading towards montgomery now uh, heading towards jackson um, i don't want to leave i just want to spend much more time here i've been educated greatly with so much history and knowledge and only when I have spoken more, I could absorb more and more knowledge from here. But as time permitting, I just uh, trying to see what we have. Um, and this beautiful lady here is giving more examples of the old. Oh, this is how we they had kept. A stock, a stock market, a stock uh, exchange. As in, in, that, in that empty commodities. Commodities in, yeah. the, in the empty a lot across the street. Right. Yes. And it was. And it was. They got their stock prices right. by Morse code. And wow. these are two of the signs. These are two of the commodity boards. Commodity. In there. And for the cotton and for the grain. So they've got the wheat and you've got the cotton. 
corn, the oats, and got the barley and the lard, which is of course the fat, and then the ribs and all the meat um, commodities at the bottom here, and all the grains at the top. Those are the cottons. I mean, that, the Liverpool, that's of course the Liverpool as they set off ships from UK. Liverpool and uh, they've actually got those uh, and the cotton seeds and the oils and so on and so forth. Fantastic. So this, this was the original stock market. Forget about the Wall Street. This is where it all started. This is how they kept the ledgers and records of how uh, commodities were auctioned and marked and markups were made and profits were made through uh, different trades and um, uh, stock exchange of all of the commodities at the time. None of these paper transactions that happens like today, uh, which, which is unknown to me. This is physical. This is physical stuff. This is, you got to, with the muscle power, you got to actually produce this stuff. Everything else that we have in the stock market from Nikkei to, in, to um, Wall Street to um, Bloomberg to all of that is unknown to us. We are following some sort of a mirage, but this was physical um, and it was proper. But we have come so far away now. We just, um, yeah, uh, we, could, we could talk about it, but uh, that's a different story. <laughs> Thank you so Why much.